Jackrabbit Store simplifies selling items and speeds up the checkout process. Once you have store items entered, you are ready to make a sale. Open the Make Sales slash Post Fees screen from either the Store menu, from the All Families page by selecting Post Fees from the Row menu, or by selecting the Make Sales slash Post Fees button on a family record. From the All Families page, or from the family record, the family is automatically selected as the account for the sale. If you select Make Sale from the Store menu, your default store account is automatically selected. A store account allows you to sell to customers who are not in your database, and if needed, you can have more than one store account. If your sale is for a different store or family, enter the first few letters in the search field. A list of matching names will appear as you type. Select the correct account and, if needed, verify it with the account information. In the Select Store Items section, the Item Number field is a search box and will display a list of matching item numbers as you type. Enter the item number manually, use a barcode scanner, or click the magnifying glass icon to search or display a list of items. There may be more than one item matching your search if the item comes in different colors, sizes, or is sold at multiple locations. If the sale is for a family in your database, select the student and class or event if applicable. If there is a discount, enter the amount or click the calculator icon to calculate a percentage or use the quick discount icons. You have the option to also post other types of transactions in the Post Fees section. A store account transaction only has the option to save fee and pay now. You may check the Receipt checkbox to print or email a receipt. For a family account, you have the option to save the fee or save fee and pay now. If the family has a prior balance due, you will be asked if the full balance is being paid. Select the fees to be paid and enter a different amount if applicable. If you have ePayments enabled, you may select either the Use Card slash Account on File or Use New Card button. Otherwise, enter a payment method and click either Save Payment or Save and Make Another Payment. Refer to our Help Center for more information.